Can you talk like mm -hmm. broadly about the way to think about niches with print on demand jewelry? Yeah, well, I think uh, just to follow up on pulling heartstrings. So, you know, we see uh, because we have a, an engraving upsell, custom personalized engraving by the buyer, we see people, um, at, uh, you know, asking, will you be my wife? You know, we ask people like people are giving these for real reasons, like um, maybe they just lost a, a sibling or, or family member. And, and there's a photo upload. We get a lot of in remembrance jewelry um, in our factory. And so doing those things, I mean, we like we get choked up seeing some of the orders that come in. Um, but yeah, uh, and just to follow up on your second question, what was it again? About niches, because I know, you know, in your emails, you mm. send out, there's lots of niches you could kind of go after with this kind of thing. Like, what is the way to think about niches? You know, when, when we I was promoting the last course that we did, we talked a lot about passion niches, about being able to understand the difference between um, something that people think is cool and something that, you know, really creates like a burning desire to buy, like a, a real, like direct response sort of marketing. And so talk a little mm -hmm. bit about the kinds of niches uh, that, that work with these kinds of products. Right. So anecdotally, what we see is we believe that about half of the orders are uh, people buying it as a gift for somebody else, which I think is much different than T-shirts. Typically, people are buying a T-shirt for themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a different it's a gifting mindset. So, you know, a lot of what we see is a lot of um, designs that are to my wife, to my to my son, to my daughter to my husband. So, and it might actually even say that on the piece itself. So like you're pulling heartstrings, if you're pulling heartstrings and you're giving this as a gift to somebody else, um, it can be a total, you know, win-win. Yeah. I like it. So to gifts, be. heartstrings. And then to me, there's always a third element as well that I've seen. And I, I'm not, I don't want to give anything away uh, for anyone, but there's, there's usually a third element when it comes to the angle as well. And it could be, and, it, it, and those things are sort of like the targetable interests. So first of all, you've got the fact that it's a gift. You've got the fact that it's for a certain kind of person. And then there usually, usually seems to be some kind of third element where you're actually targeting a targetable niche, like a sports lover or a job profession mm -hmm. or, or things like that. That seems to be where the sweet spot is with this stuff. Would you agree? Yes. But I mean, we also see, you know, sort of when I say to my wife, husband, brother, those are, can be just wide open, you know, anybody with a son or anybody with a wife. So those audiences are, you know, 50 million person audiences. But as far as the, 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 the niches themselves, we see a lot of, uh, sort of, patriotism based we see a lot of different countries mm. uh you know uh, irish jewelry puerto rican jewelry polish jewelry italian all those sort of mainstays um those will always sell all year long those sort of uh pride i guess you call them pride mm -hmm. um styles but i mean we see we see all sorts of stuff i mean yoga jewelry we see pretty much all the niches you would expect with anything print on demand uh you you can see it in jewelry and that's because we have not only hearts and, and sentimental stuff but you know we have dog tags we have rings for bikers um we have uh, uh the rings actually just started selling for like army veterans uh and and navy veterans and things like that so depending on the piece that you choose you can tailor that for the niche and you know, if you haven't seen the jewelry, it's worth it's worth checking out. On, on you, you can see some examples on the Shine On Facebook page, which is a great great community that, that you have going on Facebook there. But there's like no limitation almost on the level of detail you can put into these things, and the and you know even the amount of text. It's it, it's funny. I see some of them, and I think of the T-shirt that was really popular last year that a bunch of like young millennials were buying, and it was just a giant block of text, and it was the entire script of the B movie. <laughs> like it was just this weird sort of, and so the <laughs> amount that you can kind of put on there, I think wow. there's, there's a, there's a real, there's almost no limitation to the, the sentiments that can be conveyed on these things and, and, and the design elements you can bring to the table. It's really, it's a really interesting product and it's cool that it's taken off. So you have mm -hmm. uh, over 5,000 sellers at this point. Yes. Yes. We have, uh, that's in our fir first year. The app's only been around for about one year now. So okay. we're moving into year two. And um, we have it's all.